Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of the moment generating function of a sum of n independent random variables. So, let us define a random variable w which is sum of n independent random variables xi. That is xi is independent of of xj when i is not equal to j. So, given this uh, set of random variables, we want to prove that the moment generating function of w that is phi w of s is equal to product of the uh, moment generating functions of the individual random variables that is i product i equal to 1 to n of phi x i of s that is our goal so starting with the uh, definition of a moment generating function that is we have expectation of e power s into w and uh, by using the definition of w that is we have expectation of e power s into summation i equal to 1 to n of xi that is this is equal to expectation of e power s into x1 into e power s into x2 up to e power s into xn that is it uh, we have a product of n terms where e, ith term is e power s into xi since the random variables uh, x1, x2, x3, xn are independent of each other, then the expectation of the product of the function of these random variables should be equal to expectation, the product of expectation of the individual random of the individual functions. That is, e power s of x1 into expectation of e power s of x2, s into x2, up to expectation of e power s into xn. I mean, this is true because the joint distribution fx1, x2 up to xn of x1, x2 up to xn is actually product of i equal to 1 to n fxi of xi. Because of this fact, we have this result. Therefore, the moment generating function of the sum of n independent random variables is equal to product of the moment generating functions of the individual random variables. That is phi xi of s. And for uh, iid random variables, that is when xi all belong to the same distribution probability of x, that is when they all have same probability distribution, then this uh, moment generating function is same for all the individual random variables. Then the sum, the moment generating function of the sum becomes, that is of w becomes the phi x of s power n. Since all the moment generating functions of the individual random variables are same, so we have a that is we have phi x of s power n. Thanks for watching.